This is a three minute mastery for module one, energy fundamentals. We're gonna ask the question, where is energy found and how is it used? So we're asking the question, what is energy? I don't know that we can answer that question directly. So we're gonna come at that question a little bit sideways and uh, see if we can maybe answer instead a few different questions. How do we get energy? How do we use energy? And how do we store it? So, what are some ways that we can get energy? Well, we certainly find it in our food, and uh, we also find it in fossil fuels. Uh, we find it in gravity, which is interesting. Uh, that's the attractive force between two bodies, and we'll talk more about that in later chapters. It's also available from the sun and from water and even uh, fusion and fission, right? So these are nuclear reactions that occur. How do we use it? Well, we use it to move our bodies. Uh, we use it for transportation. We use it to communicate. Uh, particularly over long distances. We use it for uh, entertainment, and, I, and by that I don't mean that the uh, energy uh, gives us, uh, I don't mean that the energy entertains us, but rather we use energy uh, in the pursuit of entertainment. So our television shows and our movies and the radio and this kind of thing. Uh, we also use it to keep a good eye on air quality. And how do we store it? Well. Uh, just as we use it to just as we use it to move we can also store it in our bodies all right so generally in the form of fat this kind of thing uh, we can store energy in batteries we can store energy in water which is interesting we can also store energy in water tanks going back to that gravity that we talked about we can store energy in gasoline. So that liquid that's in our gas tank, we can use that uh, as stored energy. We can think of that as stored energy. Uh, we can also uh, think of energy as being stored on a global scale inside the ozone layer or beneath the ozone layer. Consider that we have well over a dozen choices for our energy use. Uh, but 86%, a full 86% of our electricity comes from stored solar energy. One thing to keep in mind is that energy is neither created nor destroyed. Rather, it's just converted from one form to another. Uh, if you think about eating a cheeseburger and then go play a game of tennis, not all of the energy that's in the cheeseburger was made available to go play tennis. So what we're talking about is this concept of uh, waste heat and uh, so what we've got in your notes section is a term waste heat. Please go online or check the textbook, find a good definition of waste heat. Uh, 